Boom, boom. I believe we might be live on YouTube if everything has gone according to plan. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. If someone in chat could just say if you could hear us okay, that'd be marvellous. Because every week we do this, something fucks up. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, we always uh, take a couple of takes to get going. But i um, hoping we're right today because we had a little um, run through earlier, me and Santos. So um Hopefully we're all right. So someone in chat, if you could just say yay or nay, please. I think we're all right. I can hear it on the telly. So excellent. Right. Anyway, welcome to MFA for everybody. A special uh, episode today of Meltdown in Lockdown. We've got uh, Santos, otherwise known as uh, Fogging Out with a Batman, and he's... Uh, live with us all the way from the US of A. Uh, so welcome, Santos. How you doing, brother? Thank you for the invite, man. I know this was supposed to happen last week, but I was having some PC technical difficulties. But <laughs> here we are. We're here this week, so let's do it. No worries, brother. Good to have you on. Right. So, yeah, today, guys, we've got uh, we've got Santos on. And uh, the main reason for it is uh, that um, um, just one second. Let's expand that. That Zoom meeting doesn't look quite right. There we go, that's a bit better. See, I'll tell you, there's something that uh, goes slightly wrong. But uh, yes, yeah, so we've got Santos on, uh, basically uh, himself and e and Flavor kindly sent over 11 bottles of his uh, uh, Saboris del Encanto juice range, uh, which is awesome of him. And so, yeah, shipped all the way over from America. They arrived uh, a couple of weeks ago. Like Santos said, we were going to do it last week, but he did have some PC troubles. Uh, in fact, it sounded like a bit of a nightmare. Uh, you got a new yeah. PC and basically the they sent the wrong RAM and the motherboard was buggered and they had to swap it all over. But um, yeah, so we're going to try out all 11 varieties today. This could go on for a little while, so we'll try not to take too long on each uh, particular 
Jeeps. We're also going to obviously ask Santos all about his uh, vaping journey, a little bit about himself and how he come to uh, come up with this um, idea, basically. So we'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, but uh, yeah, first of all, we'll say a few hellos in chat. Just go up to the top first. I'll read out a few. And then uh, Santos, if you wouldn't mind carrying over as well, please, buddy, if that's all right. Have you got chat popped out? Yep. All right, so we got Michael Fleming. Manic Stereo, Simon62. We got Ash. We got uh, UK Vapes. What's up, brother? How you doing? We've got David Chuke, uh, Adrian, the, 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 the Sub M Silver Reviews, uh, Mr. Issa Click, uh, Sub M Silver, Neil. He does uh, written reviews and he's also got his own YouTube channel. So, as ever, always support your brothers out on YouTube and go and give them a sub. We got Rob Game, we got Lane, we've got Nikki B reviews. Hi Nikki, how are you doing? We get L Prof L V B. Uh, what's that? Los Vapors uh, Borisio. Yeah, Bur how do you pronounce it? Boricua, Los Bur Vapors Boricua. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm used to this being an Englishman, but uh, <laughs> we got John Plate, we've got Rufus, um so we've got King Vape Ohms, Gilito El Rican, uh, that's another one of the Los uh, Vapors crew as well. Incidentally, uh -huh. they do a show on uh, uh, Friday nights, I believe, in it, Santos. Tuesday uh, and Friday. Usually on a Friday. I think it was quite late on in the UK, but so it's probably what time is it in the US that, that you did that? It's on at six o'clock um, p.m. here, so it would be, I believe, eleven o'clock. Yeah, about eleven. That's when. I, yeah, something like. Or, well, actually, we're only four hours um, in front at the moment because the clocks went back, didn't they? But. Um, but anyway, yes, we've got Mad Scientist, um, and uh, yeah, that's about it, really. Unless you can find some more names uh, down there, Santos. I mean, I pretty much just rounded off as, on my behalf, I want to thank thank you, all of you guys, you know, with a, hum a hum most humble um, welcoming to all of the UK vapors that constantly support myself. Um, I didn't realize that there were that many until like recently i knew i got i was shown love and support from the uk viewers but just recently it has been more visible with my patreon like in my patreon there is a bunch of uk folks that they just hop in they hop in the zoom room and you know they're like batman we love you so i got to give a huge shout out to all the uk family out there and also my own the bat fam from my facebook group and los vapors boricua which is an entire crew that everything was put together. So there's a lot of people that are in chat, everybody here to show support <laughs> to you, brother. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to do it, spread positivity. And I guess in some way or another, just so everybody can unite, man. I mean, that's what this is all supposed to be about. Are we still good here? Because I'm looking at my thing and it looks like it's not really um, working huh? very well. Are we still live on YouTube, yeah? Yeah, we're good. Oh, sorry about that. I thought I suddenly hadn't pressed the button, but... Um... No, yeah, but looks... <laughs> but yeah, it is awesome that you could come on, mate. Everyone in chat, I've read out uh, a lot of your names, and there are probably going to be a few more of you in there. So if you just carry on chatting, we will no doubt get on to you um, uh, very shortly. Like I'd like to echo what Santos says. Everyone who does come into my weekly show it is um, m most appreciated because, like I say, I only do one show a week now, one live review. So. It's awesome that you'll uh, continue to, to come in. So uh, big love t to you all. Right, we've got yep. Chris Dorn in as well. He's my resident spanner. So thanks, Chris, uh, for looking after chat. Hopefully we won't get too many uh, trolls in tonight, uh, if any. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got loads of people in here. we got Lisa, my lovely other half. She's uh, not very well at the moment. She's had a real bad migraine, so she's <laughs> been in bed for the day. But uh, big love to you, darling. She's obviously tuned in in the bedroom. So nice one, darling. Right then, so that's it. We've given uh, ch chat a little bit of a shout out. So thanks again for coming on, Santos. All right, what we're going to do is then we'll have a, a little chat first before we crack on with the first juice. How does that sound, mate? Sure. So um, let's start off with the... Um, First question then, because basically, yes, we had a little conversation earlier, but before that, I, I haven't, we haven't met each other, so we don't know much about each other. So, um, 
for the benefit of the viewers out there that, that uh, don't know much about it, if you could just uh, give us a little bit of background, uh, where you're from, um, family, and all that sort of thing, if you don't mind, that is. You don't have to say, obviously, things that you don't want to say, but, um, yeah, crack on, buddy. Yeah, no, it's all good. Um, when it comes down to it, you know, like I said, um, I was I was born in Pennsylvania. I was born in the state, but I grew up raised, went to school, graduated school, everything in Puerto Rico. So the majority of people, when when the question comes up, where's the Batman from? The Batman's from Puerto Rico. Um, I believe, uh, and I honestly believe, it's not where you're born, it's where you're raised, yeah. where you are taught your morals, how you are brought up in life, and my heart always remains on that little island right there. And, you know, that that's, I say it proudly, hence the e-liquid line that I brought out. Everything was brought out with a lot of pride. Um, now I do, I reside in Pennsylvania again. That's where I live. Um, about me, um, I don't know, man. Like a lot of people look up to me They, they and I hear it over and over again, like this, some celebrity, you know what? I'm just a loud mouth with, with an opinion and a camera. Um, that's the way I see it. When it comes down to YouTube, my head doesn't get swelled up. At the end of the day, you know what? When I turn the camera off, I'm just a single soul sitting in a room by myself. Um, and that's the reality of it. At the end of the day, that's that's what it's all about. But vaping in a way, I can say that it, it has changed not only my life, but a life, the life of, of everybody here pretty much because as a smoker, there was many times like you always smelled like cigarettes, um, just mm. the stench, the stink you leave behind. All of that's gone and being able to breathe better, taste food better, just a total different outlook. Like I said, and the biggest thing, like, you know, being able to breathe, feeling healthier and not smelling like a walking ashtray. Yeah, that is oh. the main thing, really, isn't it? With uh, that you, always know, been a plus. you can go for a walk or a cycle ride or whatever, and you just... You feel like you can actually do it again, don't you? You can yeah. actually feel like you're not um, short of breath and all that. So, but uh, yeah, so how, when did you give up uh, smoking then? How many years ago was that then? The first time I found, when I found vaping was in about 2009. I found it with a Sigalike. Yeah. A little electronic cigarette looking thing I had bought in a mall in Louisiana. Um, back then, that Sigalike, we were actually talking about it last night. Back then, I paid, I think it was $140 for that Sigalite. And that was the that was my first step. That was my first step. Now, just like a lot of other people, a lot of other people feel intimidated to the fact that, you know, if, if they're jumping over and no matter what you're using, if you, let's say you're picking up a pot system. These are so convenient for those to convert from smoking to vaping, even though the hobbyists hate pod systems. But... A lot of people, even though they started with this, you know, they're starting with this, but every once in a while they sneak in a cigarette. Don't crucify them. You know, they're yeah. being dual users. Yeah, that's Encourage what I did for the them. first year or so, year or two. Yeah, I, and I yeah. did I did as well. I picked up the cigar like, like I said, in 2009, and it was like the first couple months until I really got a grasp on just vaping and I didn't really didn't need the tobacco no more. Everybody, did, everybody dual use. At one point yeah. or another, everybody had something or another you know yeah um, that's it when i first had mine it was 2010 one of my mates um i used to work out with him back i don't work out anymore obviously but <laughs> but, but um yeah he used to have one of the old um it wasn't actually a, a signal he actually had a cartridge and uh, you know like the uh, what they call the ego sort of one so a little yeah. battery in the cartridge yeah. And he had a tobacco flavor on there. But I had a few puffs on it, but I, I was like, why do you want to do that? You're still addicted to nicotine. And I was very anti it at first. You know what I mean? I wasn't, um, I was a bit uh, naive. Uh, and it took me a good two years, two and a half, three years before I actually uh, started doing it regularly and gave up myself. But um, yeah, it just shows you. I, I can't believe how much better i've felt from giving up for the past six or seven years you know what i mean inside i don't know about you did you used to get um a cough in the morning brown phlegm and all of that sir my life. The, the first couple months when i just vape just just solely vaping you cough up the nastiest stuff you could ever cough guess mm. what now i could vape all day and not cough 
you know, unless I choke myself out. But it, it's not because and, and everybody can associate with it. When you smoke cigarettes, you took a couple of drags off a cigarette, you coughed your head off. Guess what? Yeah. With vaping, it doesn't do that. I don't. No, it don't. Um, there is a big difference. Big love to John Plake. I'll just read out his comment. He just made a donation of four ninety nine. Big love, brother. Super chat to try Kanita de, de Kiso first. I probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, Keso, <laughs> is it? <laughs> I'll have to have a look for that one then, won't I? Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, John Plake, he's a big fan. Um, big shout out to Johnny. He's one of the patrons. All right. He, he's a huge fan of the cream cheese flaky pastry, the Cañita de Queso. What? Have I actually got it? I've yeah, got all of them, you, I know. Yeah, you got them all. So it's one of we've got guava. That, yeah. There's two different types of guava. Strawberry, mango. These are the cream cheese flaky pastry ones. That's the that's the quesito line. The one he's talking about is the regular sabores del encanto, cream um, cheese flaky oh, pastry. Right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the OG. That's that's where the, the Quesitos line is a break off from that flavor. Ah, I see. Right. It's a, that's the it's, base it's, flavor. Is right it this there bad boy here? Yeah. Yeah. Cream cheese flaky pastry. Well, I better do that one first then, I reckon. Santos, <laughs> don't you? No. But, um, yeah, nice one for that, uh, buddy. Right. Um, yeah, I haven't asked you what you're vaping on as well, Santos. So you might as well just give us a little rundown on your buffet while you're at it as well, bud. I got a couple things, and it's pretty much just the stuff that pretty much sits on my desk. Um, I have a custom bogging out with the Batman Berserker mod by Chalet Manufacturing. Oh, yes, I like that. And, you know, it is a lipo, and on top I do have a 30 millimeter Redemption 3.0 on behalf of Immortal Mods. Nice. And you can see how that's going. That's right. Um, I also have by Independent Mods. I guess you guys are familiar with these. Yeah, we are in the UK. Yep. On that top the, of that, I have the Voltro. Is that the DNA 250C you got in there, is it? Yes, sir. 4S yeah. LiPo. Maxed out at 400 watts. Fucking hell. Uh, that's pretty much where they stay. Um, I also have some mech mods. I have the Kennedy Vindicator with the per the new Purge RDA. Oh, yeah. I had, a, I had a quick look at your review. Didn't uh, you just um, review that one, Santos? Yeah. Well, with with that RDA, I guess I was excited in the review. And some people have mistaken my... Because I compared it with the Asgard by Vapor's Cloud. And I compared it with the Asgard by Vapor's Cloud for the specific reason yeah. that in 2020... As of right now, those are the hands down the best two RDAs. They are different. They are different in their ways. You could do certain things like with the projects that you can't do with the, the Asgard. But my comparison in my review between both of them, everybody took it and I said that the Purge X was absolutely better than the, the Asgard. Asgard. Um, you know, I really can't say better. But they do have certain aspects. Certain, there's certain qualities about the RDA that make them different. Yeah. But when it does come to cloud production and flavor production, yeah, those two RDAs stick out amongst uh, anything. Uh, I can out. I can understand why you're saying that because you do like um, your wattage, don't you? Because I've I've got my um, Asgard here because I'm going to put it on the old. Um, I've got the old uh, what's it called? The Overkill series yep. mod here we're going to put it on that tonight because we're going to try your pumpkin uh flan with that one because you said it might work better with higher wattages so i've got the old it's asgard put the series deck in here and we're going to try it out so and i also have the requiem rda by el mono vapiador and bandy vape on top of the timekeeper that looks nice doesn't it? on there yes and um i also have Another mech mod, which this one here, the review will be coming soon by Snowcap Mods. It's actually a 3D printed device. Yeah. Single, dual, uh, single 21700, very small in size. You can see what I have on top. I have the 30 millimeter yeah. Asgard on top of that, rocking and rolling. And then last, this I pretty much threw in for the show because why not? But this is on behalf of my buddy Leonard, Def Mods and Burton Designs. That's nice. We have. The official Sabores del Encanto, fogging out with the Batman DNA 250C light bulb. So, okay, now you got I think some, it just showed his on. So, you got some quality items there, haven't you? 
some hard hitting devices. Then, on top of it, look, nonetheless, but the V2 Valhalla. Nah, right. Now I haven't tried that one. Uh, to, to be honest, the only one I've got is the the Asgard 30. Uh, I haven't tried the Mini. Is Have you got the Mini one, the 25 mil jobby? On the Asgard? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get hold of one then because I, I, there's mixed bag with Asgard, but the people I know of these. Uh, my, two, lot... my, my, two most frequ- my two most frequently used RDAs, and that's without the shadow of a doubt, and there is no taking their spot, is the Nightmare mm-hmm. RDA and the Asgard. I can, like I say, for high wattage vaping, I can uh, understand where you're coming from there. Uh, I tend to do a little bit lower wattages, so I, I find that uh, other RDAs work well. The Rebirth RDA, I think, is a pretty good one. Uh, the, the Recurve Jewel. Um, to be honest, I use RTAs more though, like the Juggernaut V2. I don't know if you've tried that one, have you? Yeah, I got it here. It's, My uh, review will be coming soon. Yeah, I like it. That's that's more my bag, and like the Reload Twenty Six. But uh, is that the end of your buffet, mate? Yeah, that's it. And then, well, what I'm vaping on, Sabores del Encanto. I got a mixture here. Of, cool. So yeah. you you will have a little vape with us as well when we're doing the tasting, then, buddy. Yeah. Huh. I'll just show you quickly what I'm on. Then we've got the uh, what's this? The QP Gator RTA yeah. in single call uh, restrictive direct to lung mode with the Free Max. Uh, 100 mod uh, i yeah. really like this mod it's just nice yeah. for taking out in the car or something quick do you know what i mean it's uh yeah. it's nice one for out and about we've got the evil deal dildo or the ev dillo dual <laughs> 21 700 here with the reload 26 uh, i haven't reviewed this yet but hopefully we'll get this on the channel in the next couple of weeks because this is up my street it's uh restrictive direct to lung uh if you like it airy i don't think you like this but if you like your flavor and you don't mind rocking it a little bit lower wattages i think you like it i I don't know if i prefer the juggernaut v2 because you can pump that up higher uh, and it is a little bit more airy you you might even think the juggernaut's a bit restrictive it depends what size corns you put in there though obviously but i like uh, those two we've also got the pioneer melt along here Uh, i think that's by bp mods and dovpo and uh, this is a bit of an old one. I got uh, mm-hmm. Stars of Ryan, one of the first reviews I put on the channel. Just a little side by side single 18650 jobby, which is still going strong after three years and only cost me 20, oh. 20 notes. So uh, not bad at all. And uh, another one, we've got the Aspire Mix with the, a, uh, what's this one called? The GT, Nautilus GT Mini on top. And I've got this one in 18. 360 mode uh, which is another one that's nice to just take out if you want to go out for a walk or whatever it's nice and light it's not going to interfere too much right so that's my buffet obviously i'm vaping a few juices here we've got some just jam uh, strawberry we've got uh, kerno black uh, which is basically a black currant menthol grape uh, aniseed flavor don't know if that would be your cup of tea santos <laughs> but it is a real good... If you've got Vapor's Tongue, have a bit of that and it sorts it right out. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And obviously, we've got 11 uh, of Batman's juices to try out, so we're going to be vaping on those tonight as well. So that is me done. So let's just um, just say hello to a few more coming. I, f- I feel rude if I don't say hello. We've got Chuki, we've got DB Squonks, we've got Hip Hop Juice, hello, mate. AVC. Uh, Yan... Yanni got it tall. Yanni got it all. Sorry, Yanny. I can't read. <laughs> See you later, UK Vapes. There he's off. Nice one, brother. Michelle B. We got Milner. Chris always looking after us. And uh, Lynn Smith. King Vape Ohms. And I think that's about it. Adam Weston. How are you doing, brother? Nice one. Right then, Santos. So let's crack on a, a little bit more. Um, I'll tell you what, should we have a little, I'm going to have a go on the, the juice, one of the juices, okay. and then we'll carry on talking. Okay. So, cream cheese flaky pastry. Uh, what was, who was the gentleman that uh, called out? John Flake. John Flake. John Flake. Right, John Flake, we are going to try that one first, <laughs> bro- brother. So your little donation has paid dividends, bud. Right. I forgot to say, actually, I've got a selection of atties here that uh, I've 
wicked up. I've got 11 RDA, or well, 12 now, because I did the Asgard. Uh, 12 RDAs we've got wicked up, so we're going to put it on a fresh mob. What should we have? Right, it's just, these are only single core flavor chasers. I'll only do it at 40 or 50 watts, something like that. Right, this is, the is that the Concord? I've got so many that which are similar. I don't know what ones are what, but it's, um, I could put the um, down low cam. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's put that down so people can have a look at the bottle. I'll put the low camera on, mate. We'll be in the top corner now. Excuse me, chat, while I'm being ignorant. When I'm doing this, I can't see um, chat. Right, just show you the, the bottle then. Right, here we go then. Let's bring the mic over a little bit more. So we've got Saboris Del Encanto. There's Batman's logo at the top. 100 millilitres. Um, exclusive dessert flavours from the island of Puerto Rico. Three milligrams Canita de Queso. Cream cheese flaky pastry. So that's what we're looking like with most, most of these bottles. Right, here's the RDA I've got. Fucking wish I knew what one it was. Can anyone reckon that? That's the Shogun, I think. Uh, yeah, that's the Vapors Cloud Shogun. You know, the single core one they did, Santos. Mm -hmm. So that's the one we're going to juice up now. So let's go back up top. Feel free to um, ask questions to Santos. Santos in the meantime. I'll just juice this one up quick. So if you can pay attention to chat a, a minute, mate. Yeah, sure. We got it. Pretty much, you know what? What I'll do while you're getting all that ready, we'll give an explanation of the Sabores del Encanto. Yes, do that, buddy. That was going to be yeah, my next do. question. <laughs> okay, so, you know, what we'll do is, just so everybody can get familiarized, and you'll hear it from myself. I was approached with an idea of e-liquids. They said, you know, um, because I did a couple of reviews for EMB, and I don't know, it just, I guess, just came up. The topic came up. And it was the question, you know, pretty much when, how it was asked, it was Batman, you know, would you happen to have any ideas of flavors? You know, you do have a YouTube channel. You are a face of the, of publicly for the vaping community. Would you have any idea? I said, well, you know, absolutely. I got some ideas for some flavors that are totally different from anything that is on the market. We've seen it time and time again where there's cake, there's cookie flavors, there's blue slushy, fruity flavors. There was, there was all of that already. And yeah. the market was very oversaturated with all these flavors. Now, being that I come from Puerto Rico, I wanted to bring something different. And I said, well, in Puerto Rico, we have a line or there are numerous and various pastries that do include the custards and do include the fruits. And there's a, a something totally different with the flavors of the pastries and everything that we have in Puerto Rico. So why not bring that up front? Well, yeah. EMB thought about it and they said, okay, let's give it a go. But there was one problem. Nobody at EMB had ever eaten any of these foods, pastries, desserts. So yeah, that's going to be a, a bit of a problem for them then, isn't it? In the first place. Yeah. So they were like, okay, none of us have ever eaten this. And in the area we're at, you know, there's not really many Puerto Rican bakeries where we can just go and try it. We're going to have to go off of your word. So I gave them a general idea what they should taste like. They sent me testers, my wife and I, we tested them and just kept, you know, interchanging back and forth letting them know, add a little bit of this, add a little bit of that. So every flavor, every flavor from Sabores del Encanto, I promise you and I guarantee you, it is off my palate and my wife's palate. Like we were the official taste testers, stamp of approval, everything was done with us because we are the ones that knew what these foods were supposed to taste like. Now, a lot of these, um, and, and this is just being totally transparent, straightforward. There are some of these e-liquids that you better have extra cotton on hand because they are going to gunk up your coils and, and it's going to mess up your cotton. And that's just me being honest. And the reason why a lot of these had to have the amount of sweetener and for the e-liquids to taste um, as sweet as they do is because I went for authenticity. 
if you would, if, if the only way for you to understand is for you to eat these foods and you'd be like, okay, now I see why the e-liquids are so damn sweet because the pastries are so damn sweet, but they yeah. taste good. Cotton's cheap. Listen, just re-wick and keep on blowing and going. Exactly. But, I must admit, mate, after vaping that coffee one last week, because like I said, I liked it. So I was vaping that one a lot. After about two days, I think it was so gunked up, yeah. I had to re-wick it. But yeah. um, th that's the price you pay for the flavor. Because, uh, yeah, I did in review three of these uh, last week for anyone that um, didn't watch it last week. I've already done three of them, but uh, we will give them another going over because that coffee and milk is uh, sublime. Uh, spoiler alert. But uh, anyway, let's just... Let's just try this one now. We've got it wicked up. We've got it at 50 watts with the uh, Vapors Cloud Shogun, I believe this one is. Right. So, so this is cream cheese flaky flake. I'm rubbish at juice reviews, but here we go. No, but hey, I mean, if, if it depends on your palate. Taste is subjective. Just be honest. It tastes nice. I'll give you that. Mmm. Oh, it's got a lovely creamy aftertaste. Yep. So cream treat cheese, are we talking like mascarpone sort of cream cheese, are we? Or is there a, a, another sort? Um... Well, over here in the States, the cream cheese that's really famous is the Philadelphia cream cheese. Yeah. Stuff that comes in the block. Yeah, we have Philadelphia as well. And it does, okay. there's no, the good thing is that this is, because sometimes with these um, sorts of flavors, especially with pastries, I get a bitter aftertaste. And mm -hmm. I don't really like vaping dessert flavors like biscuits and stuff like that. Even though I like to eat it, I don't really like vaping it. And that's the one thing I found as soon as I started vaping these. You, ju you just actually feel like um, you're eating the dessert. Yeah. It's like when I had that coffee and milk the other day, it was like, oh, man. It made me want to have a coffee and have the vape with it because you're getting nicotine and tasting coffee and milk. Right, this yeah. one, it does... It does uh, tastes like what it should do so just yeah because you see like the pastry is what uh, what a lot of people would call a puff pastry yeah it's not and... it's not over over mm -mm. powerful the pastry because i can i can taste it but like i say it's not too oh. not too bitter which sometimes i get with some of these vapes this one has got just the right amount of sweetness to complement it and uh, like i say i'm not a juice reviewer that's why i don't do them on the channel but i really do like that And there you go, John Plate. Well, MF, he likes it too. So. It is nice. It's got that aftertaste. Where it just sits on your tongue and you just can't yeah. help but go, do you know what I mean? You know what? And that is a big thing. Um, I actually had um, one of the people that hang out in my Zoom room. <coughs> and they mentioned that. They said that what they noticed with all of the flavors that they have tried and that it's one of those that when you vape, and you stop vaping and you know you just pretty much just savor your tongue you can still taste it yeah definitely like, like i say that sort of flavor hasn't really got strong flavors anyway has it cream cheese and yep. um, it's basic it's yeah. cream cheese so, inside of a puff pastry. so it's hard to describe for me it, yes it you know it does it tastes bloody good that's what i say i'm not just blowing smoke here guys because i have tried a couple which i wasn't so keen on but we'll get on to those in a minute but um I do like that one. That is um, a good one. So we'll leave that one there and uh, get the next one out. And while I'm doing that, uh, let's say, uh, yeah, let's just carry on then, uh, Santos. Right, so I hope you don't mind me saying, you mentioned to me earlier, you're not uh, working on the rigs anymore. Um, do you mind talking about that? Or did you... Well, COVID, COVID actually hit hard over here in the Gulf of Mexico, where the company I worked for, they had to let go of almost 700 people. Really? Um, they actually yeah, laid them big... off. And a lot of the other ones that they had kept, they wanted to drop their salaries. Mm. And going from one salary to where I was going to be at, no, I can't, I can't do that. And... I talked to my wife and my wife said, you know what? Nah, the hell with that. Come home. Come home, find something closer to home. So that's what we're doing. You know, we're just yeah, no, fair enough, hung man. up for now. And Yeah, that's cool, man. I'm not I don't want to delve too much in your, your personal life, but just, oh, I just I just I've been following you two or three years and I always knew that you were a 
quite often you are out on the rigs and you put up Ooh. reviews out there. You might have recorded them at home, but so you do the uploading on the rigs, if I'm not oh. mistaken, yeah? So, um, but anyway, glad to see you doing well. You, you, you're you still doing all right, though, aren't you? And you've got also... Oh. Um, you've also got Patreon on the channel. That was something else I was going to speak about because that's uh, obviously a um, topic of discussion. Just want mm -hmm. to know your thoughts on it. I know you did have Patreon, and then you uh, put up a post on Instagram about a year ago saying that you're going to um, get rid of it, basically. And uh, But now you've got it up again. So uh, just interested in your th thoughts on that one, brother. The first time I had a Patreon, I mean, you know, in all honesty, I really didn't understand. I couldn't get a grasp on, you know, paying to just hang out or, you know, just just yeah. to be somebody's buddy. Um, so I put it up and I deleted it being selfish. I didn't realize that a lot of the people that were my patrons back then. They were there just because they wanted to support. They wanted to be a part of the YouTube channel to where they say, you know what? I'm one of Batman's patrons. Uh, you know what? I support him. I'm part of that channel. I didn't, I didn't, I was selfish and I didn't realize that. So what happened was, you know, my wife, she has her own business, which the room that I had for just the vaping and all of that, we split it in half. Yeah. Now yeah. by splitting it in half so she can have her business on the other side of this wall, I had to downsize my collection because I have way too much stuff and, and I know where to put it. So I made a post in my Facebook group. And when I made the post in Facebook, I said, you know, I'm going to be downsizing my collection, you know, just because I have to, I have to make room. I need the space. And within the first two minutes, I must've got 70 some messages and the 70 some messages were Batman or, you know what? I'll take something off of you. I'll take something from you. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take. Hashtag free shit hunters. Yeah. And then, <laughs> you know what? And then actually one of the guys in my group was like, Batman, you just kicked yourself in the ass with that. They said, look, why not do this? Batman, start a Patreon. Those that want a piece of you will join Patreon and let those, let them be the ones to be able to grab some of the stuff you're going to let go. So I said, okay, I'm not really cool with the Patreon thing, but let's do it. Yeah, sounds like an idea. So I did, I did a couple auctions where, you know, because a lot of people know 90% of the stuff that I review, I buy. I, I buy myself. Yeah. So I have invested thousands upon thousands of dollars. Yeah, I can relate to that, mate. Yeah. You know, I have yeah. invested a lot of money in this. And I was like, well, you know, with the auctions, I'll be able to get something back. I can get something back. Yeah. Hell, I'll turn around and put it right back into the channel, whether it's camera equipment, microphone equipment, you know, just any equipment. But at the end of the day, the guys were like, okay, that's good. That way we'll be able to support you. We'll be able to get something nice from the Batman when, when it's auctioned off, you know, the, the whole deal. Um, I really felt funny about it, but like people wanted the packages autographed and I'm, I'm, you know, still can't get a grasp on it that why my autograph is so important, but you know, that's what people want. So yeah, but that's, that's, that sounds fair enough to me, mate. Cause like I say, you, you've always come to me uh, across to me as a really down to earth guy. Uh, you say it how it is. Uh, you talk to people about things. I expect you've spoken to your patrons and everyone anyway before you even decided to get rid of it i would have thought you probably discussed it anyway wouldn't you yeah, i uh, did i talked to them and i let them know what i was feeling yeah. and what i was going to do and that's what i love about you is the transparency um you like you say what you see is what you get basically mm -hmm. isn't it it is um uh yeah which is fair enough i've got no, no problems at all I, I personally for me i won't go down it because like i was speaking to you earlier i i work full time i haven't got time to basically i do this once a week uh, apart from that i haven't really got the time to have discord groups and whatever else going on so i wouldn't personally want to take money off people i'm not a big review like you anyway uh, but uh, for me it isn't about money i enjoy reviewing putting stuff out there if it helps someone make a decision uh, fair enough if it stops them buying something they wouldn't buy it or maybe they might buy something that they were i'm in an iron about uh because that's the good thing i i find you get the interaction you make some good friends on uh chat don't you, you get lots of people who you know works both ways and then you can start talking about different stuff and um 
Yeah, but for me, I, I, it's just a no-go for, for me, but I've got no problem at all for anyone that wants to. Uh, it's totally up to the individual. So fair play, buddy. Right, let's get on to the next one then. Right, let's just go down and show you the bottle. We've got... Right, I haven't tried this one yet. We've got the pineapple rum upside down cake. And what's that say there? Exclusive, or it's still exclusive dessert from Puerto Rico. And you know what? And if, if you hold the bottle underneath the camera hold the bottle yeah. underneath the camera we're going to show somebody something neat that i don't even think you realized what we did is mm -hmm. if you hold the bottle you hold the bottle up straight just like you're doing you can see the name of the liquid line sabores del encanto mm -hmm. now sabores yeah. del encanto if you google it they'll come up two different meanings which would be flavors of enchantment or flavors of charm puerto rico is known as the island of enchantment so that's where the name Sabores del Encanto come, flavors of enchantment. Now you can see in the background, you do have the Puerto Rico flag. Yeah. If you actually look at the Puerto Rico flag, it also is the silhouette of the island of Puerto Rico. Yeah, yes. So like everything about the label, everything about it, scream Puerto Rico. And it was something that I sat and designed myself. No, so that's, that's what I mean. You you really have taken some time with this juice range, haven't you? You haven't just slip slap your name on the bottle. No, You've actually... that's me, one hundred percent, all the way to the design on the bottle. Yeah, and that that that's is late. that is awesome to see, mate. Um, yeah, I'll just mention E and B flavor because they are written down the bottom there. They're the people who manufacture this um, juice, aren't they? So, how did that? That was what I was going to say. How did you get involved with E and B in the first place, then? They contacted me one. They contacted me for the review on the Gorilla Custards line. That's how they found me, and oh. I was like, "Okay, I'll review it." Be honest, and they sent me uh, after that review. They sent me some more, and they were like, "Wow, you're straightforward." And All from right, there, so just so that was it. They they uh, headhunted you, then they basically liked what they saw and said, "Do you want to make a juice line for us?" Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's, should we have a little puff on it then? All right. right, we got, um, I don't know what this is, the Radius V2. This is a replica, but um, yeah, I've bought replicas in the past when I first started up the channel. So here we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that, that's weird. When I was open it in, and then it hit the top of the, the mouth and then the rum yeah. came through and that actually felt alcoholic. That's really bizarre. <laughs> Just put a little bit more juice on it because... The trouble with this is such a tiny R RDA. Oh yeah, that is that's more like my bag because yeah. it's got a little bit more flavour going on. Because yeah. I'm not really a custardy vapour yeah. or cream, so yeah. that's not really my bag. But like I said, that cream cheese one did replicate the flavour very nicely, and it um, was nice. But this one. I'm liking yep. that. So upside down cake, remind me what's in that as well then, mate. It's pretty much what, the way you make it. Um, it would pretty much be a part of a cooking show, but you're going to take brown sugar and butter. You're going to put it inside of a cake pan on top of the stove. You're going to heat up the butter. All right. Let that let that brown sugar caramelize inside that, that brown sugar. You're going to dump in the pineapples. You're going to dump in, you know, the cherries in between the holes of the pineapples. Yeah. And then on the side, you're going to mix your cake batter where your cake batter, what you're going to do is special ingredient. You add a couple tablespoons of rum, mm. which it's better done with white rum. Throw a couple tablespoons of white rum or brandy inside the cake batter. Then you're going to pull the, the pineapple with the brown sugar mixture. You put it to the side. You take your cake batter. You're going to place it over top of the pineapple, the brown sugar, and then you're going to bake this. So you bake it for however long for the cake to be done. When you bring it out and you let it cool down, when you flip it upside down, right. now your pineapple and the brown sugar and everything is going to be on the top of the cake. So and, in theory, that's what you should be um, tasting yep. first when you put it in your mouth then, really. Yep. Yep. It is nice. So we've got pineapple and we've got cherry in there as well then, yeah? 
yeah so you, but you pretty much get more of the pineapple yeah and the rich moist yellow cake with the brown sugar accents and tones the caramelized in there that's pretty much what you're shooting for that's what i mean because i tasted the uh, the other pineapple one that one's definitely more pineapple uh -huh. this one it's like you say on the in, in how i'm feeling i'm feeling fruits and then at the top of the vape i'm getting that so uh, the rum um uh, combining with it and then, then mm -hmm. when you breathe out and you lick your lips and that's when you're getting that sweetness all combining together uh and it's just a, a very nice i like this one this is one that i will carry on vaping mm -hmm. i'm sorry i'm rubbish at doing juice reviews oh, i'll tell you, you if i don't like it though guys so and that's pretty much what it comes down to it is a, it's nice having a bit of rum with pineapple actually i like that combo because now i'm juicing it up a little bit more yep But what I like about this, yeah, that all these vapes are pretty sweet. So if you don't like s sweet vapes, you're not going to like these. I'm not going to lie. But yep. um, I'm not really a sweet tooth vapor. I've told you that Kerno Blacks, like black currant, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, more of a, a, a tarty type vape, you know, the more sour type vape. But you can't help but like these ones because it's it's a nice sweetness and it doesn't taste artificial. That's what I like about these juices. You're getting <laughs> oh, the, the pineapple taste real. It doesn't taste like a candy one. The rum tastes real. And then you're getting the, the nice sweetness as well. Uh, to be honest, I can't really taste the cakey bit of it as much, but uh, it might be just my palate. Like I say, I'm not, I've not got the greatest palate, but it, it is a very nice juice, this one. And this one, of all the ones I've tried, that is uh, one of my favorites. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's my take on that one, brother. Mm-hmm. Cool. Right, we better get on with these because um, we've only done two. So I'll give you another question, and then and then we'll get on with another one. Right, yeah, that's the other one I wanted to say. Right, I actually don't know how you got the name Batman. So if you could enlighten us, please, buddy. <laughs> and you've probably been asked this a thousand million times, but if you don't mind, just for the you know people who haven't heard before. I was I was young, I was stupid, and I was quick to react. Um, the nickname, how I earned the nickname, was actually something that caused me a lot of trouble. Um, oh, fair enough. Yeah, it, it comes. <laughs> so yeah. you don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I didn't even think about it, mate. But it was something in your youth and then, basically. Let's just put it this way. It did not come from the comic book <laughs> or the movie. All right, man, man. Sorry about that. That's, that's fine. Right, what juice should we have next then? Uh, yeah, guava flavy, flaky pastry. Yep. We don't really need to put it down low, do we? we, we uh, not really. Right, we've, uh, so what does it say? Uh, but basically, that's all it says. So if you could just yep. describe it's, to us what's in this one then, please, man. That is like the cream cheese flaky pastry. But except in replacing the cream cheese with a sweet guava paste. A so paste, it's guava, yeah. it's guava and flaky pastry. All right. There we go. Yeah, so with the channel then, I haven't actually looked at your subscriber count. I know for you it doesn't really matter to you, but are you, do you, you know, know what, how many I, subs you've got? To be honest with you, I don't even know how many subscribers I have. Last time I looked, you had a, a, a well over 10,000, 15,000, something like that, wasn't it? I, I haven't actually looked. Maybe someone in the chat can tell us. But um, it wouldn't surprise me because, like I say, you do come across a, a very nice man. So, And uh, your reviews are detailed. So anyone who hasn't watched one of Batman's reviews, I highly suggest you go and subscribe to him. Uh, if Chris Doyle or someone in chat could put the, the link in, I'd be most grateful. But anyone who is watching this, if you look at the description down below my video, the link is actually in there. Uh, because I always put that on if I've ever got anyone in. I'll put their links in the bottom of the chat. So look in the description, it'll be in there. But I think Chris has just put it in there for you. But uh, yeah, he, what I like about Batman, he's, he's like me. He doesn't bullshit. He says what he feels. If he doesn't like something, he'll tell you about it. But if he does like something, he'll give credit where credit's due. So, mm -hmm. which is um, awesome. 
in my opinion, if you're going to do reviews, it's the only way to, to do it because otherwise you're just um, uh, misleading the consumer if you, if you aren't being honest, wouldn't you say? Yep, absolutely. Because, and it's come across countless and countless times. I have a bunch of folks that literally, and you could, if you go into my comment section and you read it, they say, it. they said, Batman, I just bought this because of your review and you have not steered me wrong. Um, that's, that's the one thing. I try not to get overexcited about vape products because at the end of the day, it's just a vape product, something to help us quit and stay, stay away from a it's... nastier habit. Yeah. Um, but, you know, as, as, a, as a vape reviewer, we see products come and go, come and go. And it's a cycle. And, and, and all it is, it's just like a round cycle. What's at the top now will be at the bottom tomorrow. And next week, it'll be back at top. Isn't it, Jess? The, all these uh, um, RDTAs are coming back in, you know, like the ones with the steel rods. Uh, they're using those. Uh, but yeah. I've, I've noticed um, they're all copying each other. you got the Watofo one. you got the vape fly. Um, I saw another one today, in fact, which was someone else um, that's doing it. And, I, and it always happens because we went through the, the pods. The all-in-ones seem to have been very common the past year. But now there are more RDTAs coming back in, uh, it seems. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously you still get your RDAs and that coming out for, by the likes of purge mods and stuff. But it does seem to always do the old cycle every three or four years or so. Well, maybe not that long, two or three years. And then it... It goes round and round, the merry-go-round, yep. isn't it? That's absolutely what it does. Right, here we go then. we got the Supersonic here. This is by SXK. It's another uh, styly RDA. The original's by Vapernaut. Right. And that flavor right there happens to be one of my personal favorites. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this one's good, actually, because... That doesn't taste too sweet. But it is sweet at the end. Nice. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Guava is another fruit that we don't get. Uh, it's not one of our sort of fruits that we probably do get them in supermarkets these days. But when I was growing up, I never had the likes of a guava uh, in the UK. I think we can get all sorts of uh, uh, tropical fruits now. But I have, don't think I've ever tried one on its own. But, you know, we get the tropical fruit juice uh, drinks. You know, fizzy drinks, which have got pineapple, guava, mm -hmm. and um, mango, all of that mixed together. So, really, that's the only time I've actually, like, tasted it, is in a, a mixed fruit juice. But it's got a very distinctive flavor, because yeah. like I say, I it's, don't think I've ever tasted it. It's absolutely different from yeah, any from guava. By any, anything, uh, anything you've ever tasted, but it is very nice. And this... Is a good RDA as well. Yeah. So let's put a bit more juice on it. Try and dis describe it. So have we got flaky pastry on it as well? Yep. Yeah. All right. You can actually, on that inhale, you are actually tasting that guava, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mm. It is very good. Again, yeah. I'm not tasting much flaky pastry, which is a good thing in my opinion, but... Um, I'm not tasting much of that. Oh. But we've got a nice bit of sweetness at the end. Yeah. It tastes a little like bit creamy, at least a little bit creamy yeah. to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that is, a, that is a good one. Sorry, guys, I'm not the world's best juice reviewer. You, wanna, you know, this was... I said, to, I said to Santos um, that I don't do juice reviews, but I, I, I said I'd help out my fellow brother. He's a fellow reviewer, and that's why I said, do you want to come on the show and we'll do it live? So that's what we're doing. So I will tell you if I don't like it, though, but that one is, uh, along with the upside down cake, the, uh, the rum one, I like those two so far. The cream cheese flaky pastry isn't my cup of tea. It's a little bit too sweet um, uh, for, for me personally, but it is a good replication. Right, what should we have next then? I'll tell you what we could do, Sam. I haven't showed you this one yet. I don't know if you've... Um, do you know Overkill Mods? I think they're based in... Well, they are based in Scotland, I think, in the UK. We'll just go I down below. On Instagram. Yeah, I have reviewed this on the channel, guys. This is a, a, a dual uh, series box mod. I've got 
bespoke one here. You can, I bought this myself, or Lisa bought it for me for my birthday. So you can get it 3D printed, put your own logo on whatever you want. I've got, I think they've done a pretty good job with that. There's their logo there, and we've got a bit of shit on there, actually. I don't know what that is. I've got something on there, it's stuck on, but there's your fire button. We've got It's Only Banter, mate, uh, rest in peace on the back there. That panel doesn't come off. And then we've got overkills uh, in there as well. So we've got a couple of fog stars in there. We've got it in uh, series configuration. Mm -hmm. It does come in the parallel. If you want that, you just need to let them know. And uh, the price I paid was £110. They are doing DNA 250C ones now as well. And um, I think they might even be doing some LiPo ones. So that could be worth checking out. But the reason I'm showing you that one is because we're going to put the Asgard 30 on there, which is in gun metal and i think it's a pretty awesome uh match up on here wouldn't you say right so I've, what was i going to put in here the pumpkin one wasn't it because pumpkin you fly. yeah just find the pumpkin now right. one of the things like i mentioned to everybody when it comes to the pumpkin fly i must have screwed up in the testing of it i must have vaped it hot or hotter than than usual yeah a lot of people when it comes to the pumpkin the first thing that comes to the mind is pumpkin pie they look for the nutmeg. They look for the spices in it. Yeah. Pumpkin flan is just like your traditional vanilla, or, or, you know, or you're just vanilla custard flan. But instead of using the vanilla, what they use is pumpkin. So it's a straight raw pumpkin. Um, it has the, the caramelized sugar on top of it. And I, I, I have to recommend, you know, vape it at higher wattage just so you're able to get what we were trying to achieve with the flavor. Yes, yeah, And that was like one of my biggest mistakes. And after trying the flavor and I'm like, wow, um, you vaping it at lower wattage. And when I cranked it up to a higher wattage, I'm like, okay, so I see what I did when I was taste testing this flavor as I baked it hotter than, than normal, hotter than the other ones. Yeah, that's fair enough, because I did try this one last week at about 40 watts. Um, and But it also lets you know that how you can fluctuate the temperature of your vape, and it's going to change Yeah, that well. is a very good point, Santos, and, and that's the one good thing if you've got a regulated mod. You, you can just keep boosting it up until you get your sweet spot, isn't it? But uh, I'm taking your word that this one likes to have about uh, two or three hundred watts for it. So <laughs> oh, there you go, get it. I don't do series very often, but I do like it occasionally, especially when I'm having a, a little drink. So right, we got enough juice. God, this Asgard takes some bloody liquid, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Especially when you've just wicked it up. Oh. All right, so let's get that on there. Yeah, this is a point to, uh, oh, mind your own fucking business building, this one. <laughs> That's one of Santos's uh, trademarks, if anyone didn't know. But uh, yeah, if you're, you, if you're using mechanical devices, guys, obviously, uh, you've got to know your no, own law. What you yeah. do, make sure you've got a protruding 510 on your atomizer and all of that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I suggest you do your homework and... Uh, yeah, don't go and buy a yep. mod until you understand a little bit about it. But yep. basically with this, because it's in series, we've got um, 8.4 volts uh, going through to the ATI. Obviously, we've got voltage drop because of the material in the ATI and also uh, mm -hmm. internal resistance in your batteries and all that. So probably we get about 3.8, 3.9 volts per battery. So maybe uh, 7.8 8 volts, maybe. And uh, yeah, so this should hit quite well. <laughs> here we go then right i'm going to leave the airflow fully open on this one because yep. that's the one thing with the asgard it's not the most airy vape in the world is it because we've got all those honeycombs on there here we go wish me luck have i got it totally closed off yeah what the fuck i did i had it the wrong way around <laughs> you don't want to do that what hang on that's bit that's it. And see the bloody calls now. That is better. That is better yeah. than last week. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't like low wattage. 
You got no, you have to vape it warmer than your normal. You have to vape it at a higher wattage than what you're yeah. normally. I'm probably got about 180 watts through there, maybe. Oh, I'll tell you what, another thing that's hit me there. All right, so I don't really know what pumpkin tastes like, but I've had butternut squash before, but it just tastes natural. That is tasting like. It's not got too much sugar, but there's obviously enough sugar there for it not to taste too uh, savoury, because otherwise it would taste like a, a savoury dish. And obviously, yep. being a, um, a a flan, it is a flan, isn't it? Yep. Uh, you you don't want it tasting like savoury. You, you wouldn't eat put some Brussels sprouts with it or anything like that. But uh, mm -hmm. that is quite nice. Yeah, and that's what it is. It's it's. A, a raw pumpkin. Yeah, that's it's, what it tastes like. The raw pumpkin. Yeah. Breathing it out and then you're getting licking your lips and you're getting that nice bit of the sweetness to it again. Again, yeah. I'm not getting too much flaky pastry, but it definitely does taste desserty. And it's um it's quite nice actually. It's not my favourite, but I am getting that pumpkin flavour. That does taste pretty uh, 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 I was gonna say raw taste, not raw as such, but real. Uh, yeah, that real straight pumpkin. Real yeah. straight pumpkin. So that's that one. Right, anyone in chat? We are being a little bit ignorant here. Um, any questions? Man, maybe bang up the ten and see if the pastry kicks in. <laughs> yeah, breathing it out, you can really taste that pumpkin. Yeah, you look and scared. It's one, <laughs> it's one that lingers. Yeah, it lingers just on breathe your out palate. my lungs. <laughs> Yep. Out nose. Yeah, so what else can we um, ask you, um, uh, Santos? I can run out of things to, to ask you now. Anyone in chat, if you've got anything you want to ask Santos, please do so while I... Um, you know what? I can touch up on one of the things that, that frequently it comes by. Um, a lot of people look at me, and, and if you look at me and... Sometimes the way that I speak, I come off as if I'm angry. I, it has come up. It has come up a bunch of times. You know what? I'm actually a very humble, easy to talk to person. I'm very approachable. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, I have a straightforward attitude, straightforward mentality. You know. Um, when I speak, I speak aggressively, but for it not to be taken out of context, you know that I, I'm. I'm just another humble person, just like anybody else. Yeah, definitely. You know? But a lot of people do, they will look at my reviews and they'll be like, damn, why is he mad all the time? Why is he angry all the time? And no, absolutely not. Yeah, but you let people know if you don't like something, though, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but on the flip side, like I say, it's um, it might be something to do with the eyebrows, mate. I got similar ones like that. People yeah, I get mine done. Um, <laughs> it, it must be a Puerto Rico thing. You know, we, we're always groomed, haircut, yeah. eyebrows done, the short little goatee. Yeah, um, yeah you do look very uh, presentable. I need to go to the hairdressers, <laughs> but I'd put a bit of gel in. <laughs> right, we got Nancy's flan cake now. This is obviously your other half, isn't it? So you're and lady. that right now, um, I have to admit, and I know I got some in chat that are fanboys of Nancy's flan cake, and I think, you know, she left, so her head ain't going to get bigger than what it is. <laughs> that flavor is 100% my wife. That flavor, I left it to her. She tested it. The testers came, and I, I said I was not going to try it until the product was finished. That is hers 100%, and that is the number one seller from all of the fla all 11 flavors, Nancy's Flan Cake really? is the number one seller. So, yep. so what have we got inside Nancy's Flan Cake then, mate? What that is, that's your traditional your traditional um, vanilla flan, and it's baked on top of a, a rich, moist yellow cake. What, so like you a sponge get a cake or something? Or... No, your rich, moist yellow cake, like, you know, just a normal yellow cake. Um, that's That's what that is. Right, okay. Right, we got the Haku Vena here, but it's not the authentic <laughs> SXK, I believe. And um, yeah, we got Nancy's flan cake in here. So, right, let's have a go. Oh. God, that's weird. 
That almost tasted like tobacco. <laughs> Surely not. Is there any fruit in there, or is that just vanilla? Sam? It's it's vanilla. It's vanilla. It's a vanilla custard on top of a yellow cake. And that's a a proper vanilla as well, isn't it? It's a a very natural. Yeah, all the flavors. When we did these lines, we wanted to go with natural. When it comes to the fruits, I wanted natural fruits. I didn't want candies. I didn't want none of that stuff. No. I wanted it all one hundred percent natural. I don't know if I'm liking this one. <laughs> really? I don't know why. I, I, I'm tasting tobacco. Why am I getting tobacco? Unless it's my build. Mm. Juice it up again. There's no tobacco in that one. Your wife's going to hate me, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, hey, it's like I said, just be honest, you know, um, not all flavors are for everybody. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should put that on the Asgard. The trouble is, what did I put on that before? Pumpkin. That's going to taste of pumpkin now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that pumpkin. Yeah, don't put none on top of it. <laughs> Yeah, for, for me, for some reason, I'm not getting what that should taste like. But it might be something to do with my build, so I might have to revisit that one. I'm not really getting the vanilla. Should it... Mm. Does it taste like a vanilla custard, uh, Santos, to you? Yeah. Maybe that needs to bed in a bit longer. It's got sweet um, aftertaste. Um, but yeah, that's it's not my favourite one uh, based on what I've just vaped there. I might have to try it out on another RDA later on. That might be a good idea. Anyway, um, sorry about that, but uh, I've got to be honest. Hey, yeah. it's, be honest. Be honest. <laughs> that's what I want. I want you to be honest. Yeah, that isn't my favourite so far, but I, like I say, it's a, it's a bit strange because for some reason I'm getting a s slightly tobacco-y flavour from it, and I don't know why because it's got fresh cotton and that in there. So, I don't know. Right, next one. Mango. Right, I know what mangoes taste like, so we should be all right for that. Right, so chat then. Does anyone want to ask um, Santos anything at all? Burnt cotton. It's not burnt cotton because I had it proper juiced up. But like I say, I will try that on another RDA later on, mate. Right, so we got. This is a casitos there, so the casitos, uh, cream cheese flaky pastry, it says up here. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got mango and uh, casitos 100 milliliters. So yep. right, this is the offshoot of um, uh, Saboros, yeah? Of, yes, the cream cheese flaky pastry, the original just cream cheese and the pastry. Now what we did with the, the casitos is we added fruit like a fruit paste a fruit mixture to the cream cheese and to the flaky pastry right okay and this is just uh, mango any other uh, tones in there at all any other fruits or no well it's just pretty much straight it's a natural original mango it's not like a candy mango or it, it we wanted to go authentic with the fruit flavors yeah, so it, it is literally just mango with the cream cheese flaky pastry then, yeah? Yep, yep. Right, um, 
hoping I like this one because I do like a little bit of mango. So here we go. Right, we got the Skyfall uh, style RDA here. I think it's um, copper vape. It might have even been this one. I can't remember. Right. Now yeah. we're talking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is it just because I prefer this sort of flavour? It might be that. Maybe. But it just didn't taste right that other one. So I am going to try it on another RDA because that tastes absolutely mm -hmm. tremendous for a mango. Because I've had some mango flavours before in the past. If you don't get that mango right, that can taste very off in a vape. Uh, but that one just tastes good. It tastes, it tastes real. Let's have it a go. That is very good. It does taste like real, mangoes are quite sweet anyway, and that one doesn't taste like it's been overly uh, sweetened at all. Oh. And, and again, I'm not getting masses of uh, flaky pastry there, mm -hmm. but it's it's not just mango it has got uh, you can tell it's a desserty vape but i really do like that one that is uh, one of my favorites mm -hmm. i'm sorry about the description again I, you know <laughs> you're good man you're doing good you're fine i like that oh man if you like mangoes it's not like i say guys because a lot of people out there like their fruits and they don't really like uh, the pastries and stuff with it for me that's not overpoweringly uh, pastry fied so it does more or less just taste fruity, but there is that nice bit of sweetness. So on all of these, you lick your lips, and it's mm -hmm. um, very satisfying. <laughs> after what I find with your juices, like if you've just had your dinner, your tea, whatever you like to call it, uh, you know you've just had chips or whatever, and then you think, oh, I fancy a dessert now. Grab yourself one of these Saboras line or the Casitos, and and it is. Uh, instead of having a dessert, just have a vape, and then you know you're going to get less flat fat as well. So it's, everyone's a winner. Yeah, that one's a good one. The old mango, I like that a lot. And you had tried some previously, right? You yeah, tried I tried what coffee, the pineapple casitos. Yeah, I tried the pumpkin before as well, wasn't it? So okay. I think I, I think I've tried the guava casitos as well. Is that much? I think I preferred the original guava one, that Sabora. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's two different. It's it's the same guava, but with different tones to it. Okay. Right. So we've done the mango. Right. How do you pronounce that one? Could. Cochito, is it? Or Coquito. Coquito. What it is, it's a coconut rum eggnog. Right. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that, but I do like coconuts. I'm not sure about eggnog. I don't know if I've ever tried it. That's the old uh, alcoholic uh, yep, Christmas drink, isn't it? Creamy Christmas drink. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think uh, Lisa, my um, good wife, likes a bit of eggnog. But this is this is where they tone down the eggs and it's more they have it has more coconut in it right okay all right what are they saying in chat i'm vaping the strawberry and the pineapple right chris Dord in chat he's just bought a load of your juices uh santos and he really likes them so which is cool i uh, yeah tony man i mixed the strawberry with the guava db that tasted crazy <laughs> Yeah, because that's the other thing you can do, isn't it? Mix them together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people have been mentioning that about mixing them together. Right, Adrian Mason, what about to pass out what MG Nick? This is three milligram, I believe. I must admit, I am getting a little bit nicked out here. But uh, I'm used to it from doing reviews. You end up fucking vaping a lot in a, in a short space of time. Right, let's give this one a go. We got it on. This is actually uh, not a clone. <laughs> it's the Watofo Elder Dragon with my own drip tip on there. Right, uh, let's have a go then. Oh, oh yeah. that's a weird one as well. Yeah, it's, it's very different. 
I quite like it. It wouldn't be an all-day vape for me, though. But it is, no. it's quite nice. If you like your eggnog, there's only a hint of coconut. I can taste, now I'm tasting the coconut. That, yeah. That's lingering. That's that's one of those flavors. The, the coconut rum eggnog is one of those Shit. that if you give it 10, 15 minutes of just hitting on it, hitting on it, that coconut is going to get better and better and better. Yeah, that, that's the other thing. When Once the cotton's uh, settled in as well, you're going to get the flavors I, I, I find after a day or so. Like settle yep. in there a little bit, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's good. It's if you like your eggnog and uh, what else have we got in there? Coconut rum. Oh, is that like a Bacardi type uh, rum, is it? Is yeah. Bacardi well, more or less like a moonshine. Moonshine. This is a good RDA. Have you got this one? What is it? The Elder Dragon. Mm -mm. Yeah, that one, if you like your eggnog and you like your coconut and you like rum, you'll probably like that one. Like I say, it's not an all-day vape for me, but it is, um, it's not too bad, that. It's not one of my favourites, though. It wouldn't be one that I would carry on vaping. Right, let's get the reload S out. Santos, here's a question for you. Grant Mullins. Do you have any plans to release an RTA, especially, ideally, 30 millimeter plus? You know, I had the plans of an, of an RDA coming, but it went south and sour really fast. And I think by the experience that happened, I know about not giving up, but I was I was very discouraged with how the whole thing, the plan and everything of the RDA that I had. Um, so like, I really haven't pushed it of with the hardware. The e-liquid's been doing good. Believe it or not, e-liquid has a much further reach than any piece of hardware. Yeah, so, so obviously with the e-liquid, do you get like a cut in sales or something, do you? Yeah. And you're selling all, all over the world, aren't you? Um, yep. Tell us all about, because um, apparently we can get it in the EU now, in the UK, yep. can we? Or is it just uh, in the EU? Vape-wise, vape Bolton Shop has it. Um, Future Juice Lab is their website. Future Juice Lab, uh, right, yep. okay. Chris, can you find the Future Juice Lab a website, please, mate? So they have it. Um, they, they actually ordered a lot of stock. They they sell quite a good bit of it, too. Yeah, I know Chris Doyle in there. He's bought some from you, so I don't know where he bought it from, but maybe you can say where he got it as well. Yeah, so the you were going to do an RDA, but not an RTA, but... Even the RDA, it's fallen flat, is it? COVID hasn't helped, though, has it? Uh, really? And it's like I said, like it's not even something that I've chased. I know that if I would put out a mech mod or a big RDA or something, would it would the sales come in? Absolutely. Yeah. Because of the amount of requests that I have gotten, um, absolutely. Yeah, that we wouldn't expect anything less than an RDA or and a mech mod from you, really, would we? Yep. That's, that's what we'd like. Hopefully, in, in time, you m might be able to do one, but uh, no that's pressure, good. is there? You've just got to crack on. Right, Jackie Chan's in the house. How are you doing, Jackie? Nice to see you. Thanks for popping in. Casitos does not come in NTL. Oh, right, yeah, that's the other point. Some of these come in 12 milligrams, don't they, uh, Santos? The, old... um, the, the Sabores del Encanto line comes in mouth to lung, 12, 18, and 24. Right. The Casitos does not. It did, but it they, it had to stop because of the whole PMTA process here in the U.S. Ah, right, okay. Right, I'm doing the casitos again here. We got a strawberry. Mm -hmm. So this is all of these casitos say cream cheese flaky pastry. To be honest, the ones that I've tasted, I can't taste much of the flaky pastry, which isn't a bad thing to me. But those of you that do want the flaky pastry. I'm not sure you're going to get oodles of it. But that's my, my experience from it. But we'll just yeah, taste it's subtle. 
It it's is subtle, isn't it? Right, here we go. Strawberry. Oh, yeah. Anyone that knows me knows I like strawberries, blackcurrant, that sort of apes. And so that is good. I like that a lot. Right. I'm trying to describe the strawberry of it. I'm not sure that's totally natural tasting. Let's have a look. Oh, it's good though. That is good. It's different. Mm. Yeah, because I like, I don't know if you've tried Just Jam in America. You probably haven't, but um, that's one of my all day vapes every day. So this one is slightly different. It's quite subtle, in fact. That strawberry isn't yeah. overbearing, is it? Oh. Nope. I expect you can vape that one at 200 watts and it's yeah. all right as well. Because yeah. that's the it's thing. Very really. subtle flavor. I might put the wattage up a little bit, actually. Put it up to 75. Because I've got this. Um, this is a good RDA, this little one. This reload S. Yeah, I'm just thinking, I'm getting a hint of candy strawberry there. I know you say that we're not getting it, but there is a little bit. It might be the just the, the creaminess at the end mixing with it. Oh. You gone, man. Hold on. The camera decided to act crazy on me. I'm still here, though. That's fair enough. Ixrib Singh, going to place an order for strawberry. Yeah, I like that one. It, it, strawberry fans out there, you'll like this. It, I don't think it, it, I've had some strawberries which are from like Dark Star and that, which are a little bit more natural tasting, but this one, it, yeah, it's got a hint of candy, but not overbearing. So it, it is very nice. Yep. Oh, it is nice. I do like that one. It, I see the question by David too. He asked me, which is my favorite Voltrobe? All of them. I love all of them. Thank you for the question, David, and thank you for the two pound uh, super chat, buddy. Much appreciated. <laughs> You're a Voltro fan as well, then, bud. Yeah. yeah. Evening, Mark Yarn. How you doing, mate? Lynn Smith. Again. I won Batman's e liquid from his channel. All oh, right. Someone won some liquid from you as well, uh, Santos. Yeah. Um, Lynn. Hold on. My camera's acting kooky now. E&B flavors in the house. Nice of you yep. to tune in, E&B. My favorite one is the strawberry. I must admit, it is a good one, that is. I think I'll, I'm glad I've got that bottle so I can keep on vaping it. DB Squonks, if you like fruity vapes, mix all the casitos together, equal parts of each. Yeah, I might try that, actually. Nice mixed fruit. I must admit, the casitos ones are, um, they do taste more just fruity to me um, than the other ones. So fruity vapors out there that might be put off with uh, the fact they might think these are desserts. Um, these are subtle uh, flavors like the pastries and the, the creams and everything are quite subtle. Uh, so they're not overpowering. Oh, hold on. For some reason, the camera doesn't want to cooperate. What sort of camera have you got? It's the uh, the Sony. A webcam, yeah? No. Ah, right. Uh, DSLR. Yeah, I'm using a just a webcam. There we go. That should be right. Try a different USB port, DB said. Yeah, that's what I actually did. It's Batman Incognito tonight. Yeah, we're just hearing him tonight, Jackie. Right, David, just got the V1 Vultra, then saw your review. Spot on what I thought, plus the screws. Man, the screws is what David's saying. I still haven't got any Voltros, David. Yeah, that strawberry's good. I like that. That's in the good pile.
anyone just tuning in, big love to you all. Everyone who's chatting, ghosting, whatever, thanks for tuning into the show. Unfortunately, Santos has got a few technical issues going on with his camera at the moment, but uh, we do endeavour to get him back very soon. Camera too hot, it could well be. See, he isn't having a melt with that. And you don't know uh, AVC, he might have turned his microphone off as well. There we go. He's back. No meltdowns there then, Santos. And I think it's one of the cables. That's just... Right, David Chute just said he watched one of your V1 Voltros, uh, Santos. The review, he said he um, spot on what he thought as well. Can you hear? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, he said about the screws, man, the screws on that Voltro V1. I haven't seen it, so I don't know what he's talking about, but uh, do you remember that one? I'm, try I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, the, the Jackie's saying the strawberry one isn't on Future Juice. Looking now, as I really like to try that one. Oh, they haven't, you, the Casitos aren't on Future Juice, didn't you say, Santos? Or? Yeah, it's on, on Future Juice Labs. They should have all the flavors. Um, And if not, I believe that the, the shop itself, on well, Vapewise Bolton, they have it in stock. Right, Vapewise Bolton. Right, we've only got three left here. We've got, I did pineapple last week, but <clears throat> we'll just give it a quick go. We've got the, my favourite coming up. We'll leave that to last as well. So what are you up to tonight then, Santos? Um... Probably just going to hang out with the family. Yeah. You're yeah, not... I wanted to record a review today, but I was just messing around with some other things, and my wife had clients in and out all today, so. Yeah, because you're not in lockdown in America. You're still allowed to roam free, aren't you? Um, To a certain sense, yes. Yeah. Um, thing is still crazy over here. Y yeah, uh, you're getting a lot of cases per day, apparently, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. What a bloody nightmare, isn't it? Right, future have all of them, Crystal was just uh, said in chat. And Jackie said, not shown on their website. We're a fair distance from the shops and not able to pop in. That's strange that Chris is saying that, um, Jackie. Right, we've got the Casitos, Casitos uh, Pineapple. Pineapple. Right, let's have a little... Oh, dear, I've got bloody juice coming out of the airflow. <laughs> Right, we got Le Concord RDA for anyone that's interested. The review is on the channel, I believe. Right, here we go. I put too much juice in that. Oh, I'll fucking spit back. That's very similar to the other pineapple I'm getting off the uh, original Saboris one. This is... This is just basically straight pineapple I'm getting. What was the other one, uh, Santos? Um, the other one that had pineapple in it. The awesome? pineapple rum upside down cake. Yeah. See, I, I think I preferred that one myself. Yeah. They're, they're different pineapples. They're different, are they? Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit sharper. Yeah. Actually. Yep. Still got a little bit of sweetness on, on the end of it. If you like a pineapple vape, this one to me just tastes like straight pineapple vape, a real pineapple. But obviously, at the end, that's when you're getting the the, the, um, the creamy sort of uh, flaky uh, texture at the end. Texture, taste. God, I'm getting nicked out now. <laughs> but it is a good one. It's a it's a good pineapple vape. Pineapple vapes aren't my bag though, uh, so it wouldn't be an all all day vape for me. But uh, all of these are very true to what they sh should be, as said on the tin. Well, 
Right. Have we done the guava yet? I don't know if we have, have it? I think we have what? The guava and the coffee left. Yeah, we got guava and coffee. So we got guava, casitos, and the coffee left. We'll have a coffee last. What's up, Ricky Rods? What's up? I'm late to the party. No yep. worries, mate. Ricky. Thanks for coming in, mate. Yeah, so obviously you're at home a little bit more uh, these yeah. days then. So does that mean we're going to get more reviews on the channel or what other what other nope. plans have you got? We got more of the reviews and we're actually looking into the live shows. So, uh, what uh, on your channel, yeah? Yeah, get some more done on my channel. Um, is that going to be just yourself or is that going to be with other casters as well? Well, we'll have other people. As we know, I started the series like with different coil builders, with different, uh, like I did the mech mods and I also did the custom modders. Um, I plan on just as just winging it as they come you know i figure out a show i'll contact whoever yeah. let's get all together and we'll, let's do a different yeah. show much like i'm doing oh, that'd be good then so what sort of time do you reckon you'll be broadcasting and what day would that be i'm not sure yet, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> probably be in the middle of the night because a lot of the american shows are on like at two or three in the morning over in the uk i found so but uh there you go Right, this is a the Smith RDA. I don't know if you've heard of this one. It's by Ued Technology. And uh, I thought that um, no one would watch it, but it's got about 15,000 views. And um, it seems to be one of my popular ones. It's like people from around the world must be uh, checking in. Do you know what I mean? From like China or other places like that, because I don't know anyone in the UK that actually even got this one. Well, but here we go. Let's put it at 80 watts because this is a dual core. This one's guava, guys. I like that. I like the other guava one as well, didn't I? Well, it's different. It's it's very different. Remind me the differences between the two, mate. The the. The guava flaky pastry, the original, has the pastry and has the guava. Now, the quesitos guava has the flaky pastry and the guava, but it also has the cream cheese in there. Yeah, so I think that, that's what's doing it. I'm getting the cream cheese is sort of nullifying the pastry a little bit, so yeah. I'm finding, which is yeah. good because I'm not really a pastry lover, but. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be an all-day vape, but it's definitely a good one, that. All of those Casitos ones are good. If you like your fruity vapes, you're just getting that little bit of a creamy sweetness after. It's not too overpowering. I expect these ones aren't too bad on the cores uh, compared with the um, some of the no, other No, actually, the Casitos line, from what people have said, the Casitos line has been a lot lighter. Yeah, I can see. I can, I can see that they don't go as dark the uh, the, the cotton doesn't yep. right last but not least we've got uh, one that I really did enjoy on last week's show if anyone did tune in and it's cool I'll try and read it in uh, Puerto, Puerto, Puerto Rican Spanish I'm going to get it totally wrong Cafe con leche, I believe it might be. That's exactly how you say it. Yeah, I think I've got my wife to thank because she, she <laughs> last week she said it's leche because I said lesh. <laughs> <laughs> and so basically it translates to coffee and milk, uh, basically. But it's not just coffee and milk. Just tell us what it's all about, Santos. Okay, in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico is known for its coffee. Um so we like that bold in your face coffee. That's how we drink our coffee. Um, we don't like the watered down coffee. It, it, we like our coffee to where you can't see the bottom of the cup. Yeah. And you can. So it, it's a bold coffee. It, it, I, I tell you what, bold is the expression because I remember last week, even before I went to vape it, and I just got this whiff of coffee. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And it was just like, oh, it just smelled like a like coffee shop one, you know, proper. Yeah barista style you know none and of then, this instant coffee 
like to season it down, you know, we use sugar. And then like a lot of people like to use creams and or, you know, that powder creamers or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what we do in Puerto Rico, we'll use evaporated milk on condensed milk. Yeah. You know, just a little bit that sweetened and evaporated milk by itself. The, the milk that comes in. It's naturally sweet together, anyway, isn't it? It's naturally sweet. So by putting it in there, that's why I'm saying if you would taste the coffee, you'd understand why the vape is so, so sweet. Oh, man. That's just, how we drink our coffee. Just by doing that. Yep. It's just... You just smell like when you've just done, you know, the old um, ones where you put a shot of coffee in, uh, what do yeah. they call them? Yeah. Espresso uh, type. Espresso. Uh, one. Yep. And that's, that's what it is. That straight coffee. That's like, what, you want to drink coffee, you're going to drink coffee. That's how I like. I used to have evaporated milk as a, a kid. My mum used to give us that on like bread and butter pudding. We used mm -hmm. to have over here and put evaporated milk over the top. So it's not too sweet, but it's just, just enough sweetness just to liven it up a little bit. Right, so we've got the recurve RDA on top. Let's have a go. If you like coffee, mm -hmm. oh, it's, 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 it, 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 that aftertaste, it's just like you said, you're getting that like evaporated milky yeah. taste, aren't you? And it's, it just tastes like you're drinking it to me. Yep. It leaves it. I'm, I'm not just shitting you guys. This is my best flavor of the lot of them. I love it. And I've never had a coffee vape in my life because I thought I wouldn't like to even try it because I bet they wouldn't get it right. But this one, it's got it down to a, a fucking tea. Yeah. It's just... It's not too sweet. It's not like you've got spoons full of sugar. There's just it just tastes like you've got that little bit of sweetness just to you know because coffee is quite bitter and it's just got enough just to make it oh just taste good on the on the tongue the the palate. Uh, so yeah, that is my favourite one of the lot, and I believe that other people in chat have probably tasted the coffee and milk. Uh, mm -hmm. So what do you think? If there are people in chat who've been watching this and you have tried any of the juice range let us know what you uh, think in in chat uh, because um i've just done all of them now i'm totally nicked out so we're probably <laughs> not going to go on much longer here but um yeah that was good uh santa i'd just like to thank e &B flavor and yourself for providing them because we did have a little bit of trouble getting them over here because import fees and whatever else um uh, because uh, the UK have got new rules that came in last year that they, they start putting VAT, B-A-T on them uh, if it's been imported and you get stung for other things as well. So that's the main uh, barrier they're trying to get to. That's why it's good if we can get it into some UK shops because importing it is a bit of a, you know, a bugger. You'll end up getting stung extra money, uh, which yeah. isn't great. But um, yeah, f thanks for, for doing that though, Santos. It is uh, much appreciated, mate. But uh, yeah, anyone in chat, if you've got any uh, thoughts on the Saboris line, the Casitos line, uh, any other last questions you want to give Santos? I know that he's a busy man. He's got things to do. So we'll go on for <laughs> another few more minutes and uh, then we'll call it quits. Right, Crystal, the coffee milk is the best I have tried. Yeah, there you go. Well. Yeah, the coffee, the coffee and the guava are probably the two that I make the most myself. The coffee and the the first cream cheese, um, the the guava flaky pastry, the original one. What they're, they're your two best sellers? Are they all the, the, the best ones for they're, you? They're the ones that I bake the most. Yeah, yeah, they are good. I can understand that as well. I like the well, strawberry one as well, though. I did like that. Yeah. Yep. But uh, yeah, so what else can we uh, say then? So qu quite family time in tonight. And what what are you going to have for dinner tonight then, Santos? What sort of things come on your menu? Do you, do you cook or is it just the wife who cooks? No, we both do. We'll take yeah. turns. Um, it, it depends whatever she's in the mood for. Um, like I said, we'll just, we'll just swap it out every here and there. We, we help each other out in the kitchen. Yeah, that's good to hear, man. I can see you probably would. You seem like a 
a sort of new age type of man. You, you don't seem like one who's just going to sit there and expect uh, the woman to do everything. Nah, we got we got to mix it up every once in a while. Yeah, that's fair enough. I see Mark John asks, um, how does the coffee milk compare to the kilo coffee milk? I've never tried it, so I wouldn't be able to answer, but I don't know if you have. Uh... You know what you can do when it comes to the kilo? That's part of the Moo series. If you go on my channel and you look up the Moo e-liquids by Kilo, go watch that review, and that'll answer all of your questions. Nice one, mate. What's up, Gareth? How are you doing, bud? Rufus, I don't think I said hello to you. Cheers, bud. Right. Been celebrating my bonfire night birthday since Wednesday. Happy birthday, mate. A uh, Tony man, Kilo tastes like garbage, apparently. <laughs> Just shoot the cow, Nikki's saying. Yeah. Shoot the cow. <laughs> Is that what you said, hashtag, did you? <laughs> no. That's where the hashtag shoot the fucking cow come from. All right, okay. Doing no e-liquids. Right, guys. Um, I think we should call it quits, should we, Santos? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was quite a bit of, of juke that, testing. That was a fucking <laughs> session. That I, I should have just done six of them or something. Um, but there you go. We, we live and learn, don't we? We've oh. we've got it all done in one hit anyway. So anyone that is watching this or is watching the rerun, whatever, hopefully that's giving you an insight to what I think of them. Like I said, I didn't like them all. Uh, so I'm not just going to blow smoke up Santos's ass for the sake that's of right. it. And, uh, one one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try Nancy's Flan again with a different RDA because we've still got one here. Because mm -hmm. I don't like the fact that I didn't like your wife's one. <laughs> and, and, and that is the number one seller. That's what I mean. Maybe it's because I'm from the UK. Maybe I don't appreciate no, what I it is. Know. I don't know. Because I think Vaping with Vic actually tried that and Vic was another one that loved it. There was a couple of UK reviewers that tried the Nancy Flan cake and, and loved it. Right, let's have a go. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a drop on the back of my hand just so I can taste it. Mm -hmm. And I'll know whether it's the corn or not. But I have got a fresh one here. We've got the barrage here, the barrage by a thesis. Uh, again, MFA, I apologize about last week. I can't even remember what it was, mate, but uh, thanks for apologizing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that tastes nice. That's not what it tasted like when I vaped it. Really? <laughs> I, okay. I, maybe my call was a bit dodge. I hope so. Yeah, I can taste the vanilla now. Pouring juice all over the fucking mod. Oh, shit. <laughs> Apparently it's waterproof though, isn't it? The um, Aegis. No, I'll just show off my little skin here. You can buy these skins from Aegis, yeah. um, customagis.eu. He was in chat earlier. Uh, so, so, yeah, check. you can pick them up for a five or ten pounds. Five. Or, uh, I'm not sure in dollars. It's not going to be much more. But you can give them your logo, whatever you want to put on there, and it will sort them out for you. And I did do a live review on the channel a few weeks ago, if you want to look at it. Right, come on then. Get the. Right, how'd you put this? I can never remember how you put this on. Have you got the barrage? Uh, yeah. Um... What way round does it go? Oh, yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right, I don't know what the airflow is doing. Is it just there's no adjustable? It's not, there is none. You just yeah. pop it on there and yeah. keep it rolling. I think I need my taste buds sorting out. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't vape like what it tastes like <laughs> to me. Okay. Yeah, I, I just can't get on with it. I'm tasting a little bit of tobacco for some unknown reason. Yeah, and, and that's that's a weird one because there is absolutely no tobacco in that flavor. Yeah, I, when I put it on the back of my finger, I just tasted vanilla, and mm -hmm. sweet vanilla. Weird. 
It's not too bad though. It's not too bad. But uh, yeah, there you go. It's uh, it's not my favourite. <laughs> Call yourself a reviewer, Jackie's saying. Why are you saying that, Jackie? Uh, I review hardware. I don't do juice, do I? So. Uh, that's actually how, you know, you, with e-liquids is actually how I started. You started with e-liquid, did you? Yeah, because I started straight on hardware. Because I'd, I'd never been a very good... Um, and now it's got talent. to the point where I have had countless requests of me going back and doing e-liquid reviews. Yeah. Which I used to have fun doing e-liquid reviews because I could be cocky and I could be just a total jerk if I had to be. Because the thing when it comes to e-liquid is a lot of e-liquids are boosted and, and they're boasted about a lot. Yeah. And back then when I did e-liquid reviews, you would pay $28, $30 for a 30 mil bottle of e-liquid, which was expensive and you'd get it and it was garbage. That was the whole purpose why I jumped into it and did that crack, drip and vape to where you bought a bottle of e-liquid, you cracked the seal, you dripped it, you vaped it. If it was no good, it was no good. Yeah. Um, well, fair but, enough. Yeah. Like I say, that, that's what I've just said. That, that, that one for me wasn't my favourite one. Uh, I can only go on what I'm tasting, can't I? And, th and that's the thing that everyone needs to remember. Everyone's taste is subjective. Uh, what I like, yeah. you oh, absolutely. Like. That's uh, there's a lots of the ones I've tried tonight. I really did enjoy, but um, that one wasn't my favourite for some reason. It's probably because I don't like. Um, it's like the cream cheese flaky pastry on its own. I didn't like that one either. Um, well, it's not like I didn't like it. It's not something I would choose to vape. Yeah. Right, my wife's in the chat, Lisa Forber. Hello, darling. <laughs> Cafe Con Leche is beautiful. She really adores it, and she just vapes menthol vape. So that's, that's, that's saying good. something, mate. Hey, Sarah. How you doing? Nice one for tuning in. We are going to be going off air very shortly, guys, but uh, you can watch the rerun, of, run, of course. It'll be on the channel. Right, James Johnson, oh shit, bat fam, starting a JJ going Jamili on MF GoFundMe page. Shit just got real. Uh, hmm. I don't know what that means, but Jackie saying because you couldn't get the top off your, on your device. I always found that with the bra. I looked at it and I thought, I don't know what way around it goes. And it was always just a case of fudging it on. There are still quite a lot of juices that are crap as they've not been steeped. Remember the E-Sig 1 stuff, MFA? Yeah, that is a good point because I did get one from E-Sig 1 and it properly hadn't been steeped. So I presume that these have been steeped beforehand, uh, Santos, have they? Yeah, because the, they rotate the stock. So some of them, they do come pre-steeped. Yeah. Adrian Mason Marmite, yeah, exactly. Like I say, if you know my channel, I'm not going to just say it's good if I don't think yeah, it is. Oh, absolutely yeah. not. And I know Santos doesn't because I remember watching his, oh. um, what was it, the uh, Steam Crave, um, what was that big R RDA? The uh, oh, the one that came with the glass cap. Yeah. And look, yeah, and it just didn't perform. It just... I had that one. I thought it was all right with a steel cap, but... Um, with the steel cap, it, it, it was yeah, perfect. Yeah, a lot better, wasn't it? But that's what I mean. It's, that's what cracks me up with Santos, because he's just like me. If he doesn't like it, he'll fucking say, he will tell oh, you. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Yeah. Hi, Scott. How you doing, mate? Right, let's wrap it up then, uh, Santos. Um, Hi, brother. If you just want to say what you want to everyone who's been watching tonight, buddy. Pretty much what I say, um, it's something to live by. If you want to find me, FOWTB, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon. Um, if you want to join Patreon, like I said, we have a good thing going on. I have a drama-free Zoom room. I have a bunch of UK folks that, yes, do sit in there. Um, I have a bunch of folks from Australia. There's a bunch of folks from everywhere that just come with us. They hang out. They sit in the Zoom room. We talk. Not everything is about vape. We do talk about life and the bottom line is I like to keep everything drama free. So yeah. that's been going well for me. Um, if you want to find me, like I said, F O W T B here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever. And the only thing that I could do and leave out tonight, I want to thank all of you, everybody, those vapors, Boricua, bat fam, all the UK viewers, everybody that's just watching tonight. 
very sincerely and with all the humbleness that I can, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for tuning in for the show. Thank you for your support. Remember, stay humble, be kind to each other and help each other out. It doesn't matter who you're helping. It only matters how. And thank you for the invite. No worries, mate. Um, uh, I'd just like to say, yeah, there it is. Crystal has just put uh, Batman's uh, YouTube page. Obviously, you can go onto that and you can subscribe. It's totally free if you want to do that. But you can check out his Patreon uh, if you want to join that as well. But just go on his page. He, like he said, he's already uh, said his social media sites. Uh, but the link is also in the description down below for the, the YouTube page. But uh, I'd just like to say a huge thanks for coming on, Santos. Thanks again for sending the e-liquid over and the EMB flavor as well, if you're still watching. Uh, big love for that. I've now got a load of juice and some of them I really like. So it's kept me in juice for uh, a little while longer. So that is awesome. That's one of the uh, perks you get from being a reviewer. So that is awesome. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming on, mate. Look forward to your live shows whenever they might be. I will try and pop in if they're not on in the middle of the night over here. But i um, <laughs> like to uh, say big thanks to everyone who's been watching, ghosting, commenting, joining in, asking questions. As ever, you are all absolute legends. If you didn't get any viewers, there's no point in us doing this. Uh, and hopefully what we do do helps out people out there. It keeps you off the fucking dreadful stinkies uh, which is hopefully going to help save your life or make it prolong it a little bit longer so <laughs> i got i got a special request by rufus kane he so he wants to come on get you so <laughs> come on get you some oh, indeed <laughs> all right guys um that's it then uh, i'm not sure what we're gonna have on next week but hopefully we'll have another review of some variety <coughs> i might do the reload um, 26 because i like that one so um it's just fine where the end stream button is uh fucking hell mike you're so rubbish at this anyway that is it see you later guys big love